right. Effect. Good morning, Inami. How are you? Good morning, Demba. Welcome. Good morning, Zijing. How are you? Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Afua. Good morning, Ipe. Hope you're all fine. So, I think we can start with our lesson. Good, happy Tuesday to everybody. Lesson seven in the bear walking program. Remember, you got your hand that you can put up. If you need to ask an important question, put up your hand and I will turn your microphone on or read your chat. Check the chat to see if you have a message there. Then. Oh, better go back. Hey, so I forgot about that. The very important email address. Don't forget to email your programs and anything, any questions you might have or anything to iquin at africateengeeks.co.za. Then, today we are going to move from point one, where the bear goes to elephant, and he's going to go on to Mrs. Owl. The bear is going to go walk along to Owl after we finished with elephant. We nearly finished with talking to elephant. Right, so what are we going to do today? First of all, I want to check to see who is connected to Emma Zora. So get that information ready. We're going to revise variables and joining words and changing direction and costume and moving to another sprite. And then we will run Berner's code at the end of the lesson. So first question. Who has managed to connect to Emezora. What you're going to do in the chat, if you haven't been able to connect to Emezora, you're going to let me know in the chat. You can say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Oops, it's not supposed to be here. Uh, so you're gonna let me. You're going to let me know in the chat that you have not connected to MS Zora. Okay, we have one no and three yeses so far. We have one no and three, four, five yeses. Okay, find the coding area. All right. Okay, so we have three no's, maybe four no's. Right. Okay. When you open MS Zora, do you see the screen, Lovey? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open MS Zora again. Okay. I'm going to go all the way back and open it again. When you log into MS Zora, you see this window over here. 
Okay. So you see this window in. Then you've got to click on this middle thing that says MSORA blocks. You click on it. And then what will happen is it creates this. And this is your coding area here. These are the blocks that you go and put into your, this is your coding area. Yes, yeah, so you know, this area, you put the blocks in, you drag them on or you drag them off. This is your stage on the right hand side over here where we put all our animals where we had already put in all the animals. Um, yep, thank you, Kwanga. Spot on, my boy. Okay, so today we're going to continue with our lesson from lesson yesterday, which was lesson six. So I'm going to load it from my computer because I saved it onto my computer because that's the only place you can save for now. Obviously, we need to know where we're going. I called Mount Bear Walk lesson seven because that is what, then you have to click on OK to replace the current project. So you remember that when you load, it's going to replace anything that's on your screen already. So let's do the, I'm going to go and look at the chat again to see how many people haven't been able to get into MSORA. There will be various reasons. Maybe you don't have an email address yet or one, two, three. Okay, I've got three no's. Okay. No, that's okay. I think you can manage it. Just go to lesson one, like Wanga said, and you'll see how to log into Amazora. Okay, now we're going to start, we're going to carry on where we left off yesterday. We were talking about variables. Okay. And I'm going to, how do I get this code? Can you see the code is hanging up there? We don't know how to get it. Well, guess what? We have a scroll bar over here. Can you see the scroll bar? It's very small. What am I doing? I'm moving the code up and down. Up and down. There we go. Make you dizzy. Can you see the scroll bar? I managed to get hold of it with my arrow and then hold the mouse down. So, and what animal is busy right now? It's Mr. Bear. There he is. So this is the code for Mr. Bear. He's got two blocks of code that are already written. There they are. And I'm just putting it so we can see it better. And there we have it. Right. So you're only five minutes, Suda. It's not, not so late. Okay, Sajing. Good boy. Right. Now, what we have here is two blocks of code, and there's a big one over here saying say. That looks very complicated, doesn't it? We're going to revise what we did there. We're going to put it in again. I'm going to explain it again. And these blocks over here, I'm going to split, say them again. Now, I've removed these blocks from the main part of here when I receive elephant reply. In other words, when elephant says, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Elephants ask how bear is. So elephant sends a token and bear receives it. Yes. Yes, recording is being done as we speak. So bear there's when I receive elephant reply. Um, Bear says, I'm fine, thank you for two seconds. So this code of year that I moved off is not going to run because it's not part of the of any hat block. There's no hat block. See, there's no hats. That's a hat block. That's a hat block. Those hat blocks are the running code. If I press my green flag to run. Let's see where we go. And I press any key. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. And that is what we've got so far. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? And then Bear says, I'm fine. Thank you. And it ends there. But we, yesterday and the day before, we made sure we had some variables. 
because we're going to save elephant's name into our program. If I go to my variables section over here, we've got Ellie's first name and Ellie's surname, and we put blue ticks next to them. See what happens when I take the blue ticks away? Look what's happening on this side of the screen here. I'm going to untick the blue ticks. Can you see they're gone now? Then I tick them again, and then they appear again. And there's other variables. Yeah, we've got our age, our first name, our surname. We've made a whole lot of variables over there. We can make as many variables as we want, or should I rather say, as we need. We make enough variables that we need. We don't just make hundreds of variables. We only make variables for the things that we need. And in this little program, we're going to have three variables for Owl and two variables for Ellie. Okay. So, right, so we know those, uh, those variables exist. I've got blue ticks on the left-hand side here because I'm showing them, but we also have a thing called show variable or hide a variable. So if I take these ticks away, and then I can show the variable whenever I want to, and it'll come up here on the stage, whether we wanted to do that or not, that's our choice. So how do we, you know that the variables are the boxes in memory and we put things in them. So how do we put things in the boxes, the variable boxes? Well, using an ask block. When we ask Elephant, what is his first name? So I'll say Eli Elephant. I'll put an ask block. What is your, what is your, first name, not what's, what is. I must mind my grammar, hey? Grammar is very important. Elephant, what is your first name? I should say please as well. So, elephant, can you please tell me your first name? Right. Then, so that's ask block and we got it in sensing. Asking is we use ask to get variables that people type on the, on the keyboard. So the ask block will create a little window the person can type in something in that window. So now, after we've asked, we say we're going to set the variable called, there's lots here, we click the drop down arrow, you see lots of variables here. So we're going to choose the variable called Ellie first name. Two, and then we went and plucked a little answer, goody, this thing, and put it in there. Okay, now there's two. So we put answer in there. Now that is the procedure for storing variables. In other words, putting items into variables that you want to keep for later on in the program. We'll see where we'll use it later on here. Yeah? Right, so then we ask again, elephant, or we can say, what is Elephant's surname? What is Elephant's surname? And then the little window will come up for us to type. And then we say, set any surname. We choose a variable here that we made. We made lots of variables, remember? We said, set any surname to answer so we got this little answer block over here it's hanging there we just slotted it into this um position over there right so now if we want we can show the variables where did i get show variable from the variable section over here there's a show variable block. Do you see that? Show variable. So I can show 
variable first name. You're not shown variable surname. If I wanted to, and that will be the same as if we had ticked these blocks over here on the left hand side for the variable names to show them. Okay. Now, just to be fancy, we're going to let Mr. Bear say, welcome. We won't let him say hello. We'll let him say welcome. Eh? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this. We're going to start all over again so you can see how we construct this very special block. Before we do that, let's run the program and see what happens. So I click the green flag. Wait, 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 press any key, then he moves up and then elephant moves. And then they're starting to greet. And there's the question, elephant, can you please tell me your first name? Hmm, elephant's thinking, what is his first name? Hmm, he doesn't really know himself. Oh, help me, please. Um, I should know somebody's names, hey. Let's call him Joe. Yeah, Joe. Then we click the uh, blue tick here. Elephant, what is your surname? Right, what shall we have a surname for elephant? Somebody tell me, what shall Joe's surname be? Joe. Gonna type his name in here. Joe, 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 Jordan, uh, or Joe Eddie, or Joe. Let's see. Okay, Jordan. Joe Jordan. There we go. And you see what happens? Because we said we wanted to show the two variables, so there it is. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a good one. Goku would have been better. <sighs> anyway, we can, when we run the program, you can type in your, any names that you want now, and they will be stored in the variables for later, but only while the program is running. If I run this program again, let's see what happens. Ah, Joe Jordan is still. And his name is still Joe Jordan. You see, you run the program again. Joe Jordan has been kept safe. But now we can call him Joe and Goku. So we change his surname. So now that's his name, Joe Goku. So now, that, as you can see, the variables are still there. They're not going to change until we change them again interesting right question is we want elephant to say welcome joe goku so how do we get the elephant to say that we can then unzoom oh go on all right so we have a raised hand from Avik, so let's go and see if what he wants to ask us. Yay. Yes. No. Yes. Um, can you please run the program again? Because I think mine, I did something wrong. Okay. All right. Let's run it again one more time. And then we're going to move on. So. Okay, to run the program, elephants walking, 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 Let's press any key to move, make him move. Then that happens, and that happens, and that happens. I'm fine, thank you. So, Joe. Joe. Change his surname. Elephants change his surname. Right, I'm moving on. Now I'm going to have. Mr. B, say, it's a pleasure we have Mr. B say, welcome, Joe, go on. Because we want Mr. B to 
say, you know, to say it, his full name. So how do we make anything say? We go to looks and we say for two seconds. Now, in that block where it says say and then it's a hello, we have to go and put what we want. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, in that block, we might want to put in the um, the green operator. We want to put in the surname, any first name and any surname. These two variables, we want to put them in. But how are we going to put them in there? We can't just type them in there. We have to go and use our variables. So let's go and have a look for the variables. Any first name. Oh, well, we can put that in, but that's just saying any first name. We want any surname as well. How are we going to put them both in there? Well, the only way we're going to be able to do that is to join them using an operator called join, joining two words together. So we want to join two words together. So how are we going to do that? We find the join block. Okay, where's the join block? In the green, my favorite color. These are called operators. This is where you're going to find your plus, minus, multiply, star, by the way, is multiply, divide. We're going to do that later. Picking a random number, a less than or greater than sign or an equal sign. You've got and or a not. You've got a join. There it is. So I can build two strings together like that. And you see, I've joined the two strings. But the problem is, if you leave it like that, we can have the first name and surname then maybe squashed together. And that's not going to look pretty at all. So somewhere along the line, we're going to have to have another join where we are going to put that join inside. Let's say we put that join inside the first block. So we've got join with this one is in there. And then I put first name in there. Oops, that doesn't work. First name is going there, and then we go and put that block in there. And then instead of banana, yeah, I'm just going to type a space. Space. Right, so that should work fine. And then we go and slot that in there. But all that elephant is going to do is say, I mean, bear. This is bear talking. No, no, only Al's going to have an age, so Jake. So bear is talking. He's saying Eddie first name and then a space and Eddie surname. Yes, Savik, I'm going to unmute you. You have a question, Lovey. Yes, sweetheart. Yes, I'm getting a little confused between joining those things together. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, thanks for that. I'll say it, I'll repeat it again. It's quite tricky, I agree. But it's an important thing to do because we're going to do it a lot. Right, so let's do it again. <coughs> right, let's go put this again. Now, this is how the say block looks normally, okay? And if we put in a join, I'm going to put it in there. We're going to join the first name. Let's go and get the first name to, oops. The trick is to put it, get your join block and put them in those two things. To see, join has got two, two blocks of two spaces where you can type things. You can also put the variables in those spaces. And if I put it in like that, if I double click this, you see what it does? It says Joe. I can, I can double click a block. And you see, it says Joe Gohan. There's no spaces. And we don't want to have his name and surname all squashed up. So we're going to have to put a space. And how do we do that? All right. So obviously, we, um, Prononso, let's give you a chance. Hello, Prononso. Um, can you speak? Yes, sweetheart. Please tell me name the first name, Goku, and then the second name, because that would make more sense. Oh. Uh, could you type that out in the chat for me? Because I, I couldn't, I won't be able to spell it. Thank you, Sudak. Right, Avi. 
Oops, oops, oops. Let me unmute you. Yes. Hello, Vic. Another question. Yes, you're right. Okay. Vic, are you okay, Surat? Okay. Pronounce Yes. Uh, Pronounce all. Yeah, I don't need to do on the chat. Thank you, Surat. We'll go and check it out. Come on, hello. You raise your hand, Abby. Okay. Right, let's get moving. Let's go and get moving, 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 moving. Okay, go. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay. Right. What is the element warning? The, the element's not warning. The element's going to say, welcome. Oh, no. The element's not warning. Like, he's got a mask on. It's a mask on his, on his trunk and on his mouth. It's a pink mask. Because he's cool that way. He's being good. Right. Wearing his mask. Okay. Now, let us do this quickly. We, we're running out of time. So... We're going to join any first name with a space and with any surname. We saw how to join any first name and any surname, but then we saw that there wasn't a space between the first name and the surname, so it didn't look pretty. So <clears throat> we get another join statement. Move these out of the way. Here we get another join statement from this over here. We go and put any first name in the first block and we go and make this empty space there. So we have a space. And then we go and position this join statement inside where that word apple is. So we have a join on a join. Okay, there's a join. And here's the join. Don't you get the hang of it? It's just practice. Okay. Right, so this is what, how we are doing it. And now we're going to get another join statement. Why? Because you want to say, welcome. So I'm going to say, welcome. Exclamation mark, space. <clears throat> I made a space. So we have another join statement. And instead of this word banana, I'm going to slot in. <laughs> But tricky to do. So you just move it until it just gets in there. <coughs> hey, who's talking? Uh, Renonso, are you okay, Ravi? Put your mic off, shut up. <coughs> okay, I'll just mute you then. No problemo. All right. No problem at all. Right, so we've got our join all constructed over here, very complex, and we're going to do it again. So don't panic. After elephant and, and uh, after bears moved, we'll we'll do this again with Mrs. Owl. Okay. So let's go and see how far we are now. Right. So we're going to run the program again. I will maximize the screen so you can see it. Let's. Click the green flag, and there we go. And you've got to press the keyboard to stop Bear from walking past Elephant. There we have the conversation going. <coughs> so, Joseph. Joseph is the first name. Goku is the second name. Surname. <coughs> and see. <coughs> What happens over here? He says, welcome, and then that's what happens. It's, I suppose you all saw that, eh? Right, moving on to the next one. Now, <clears throat> after elephant has spoken to bear and so on, bear is going to turn around and walk towards the bird Elephant's going to move back to his place. So how we how do we get Bear to turn around and move that away? 
to the left, to the left. He's going to move. Well, we first want him to turn around. How are we going to get him to turn around? That's the tricky part. <clears throat> um, I know our variables are sitting over here and they're being very irritating, so I'm going to hide them quickly. So I'm going to make sure in the variable section that they are hidden by clicking on them and clicking on them again. All right. Now, interesting that the variables keep their names <coughs> as soon as um, the program stops, even though the programs are running anymore, the variables still have those names sitting there. For instance, if I show any first name, you can see it's Joseph. Any surname, you can see it's still there. Interesting. Hey? <coughs> Until we type something more in this ask block. Right, um, Kawahela, before we move, uh, you have a question. I'll, I'll let you answer, ask a question before we start moving. Okay, you don't have a question. All right. That's fine. It's all good. Now, we're going to go and change Bear's costume to make him face that away. You see he's facing towards Elephant. Now he's going to turn around. And we're, how are we going to make him turn that away, face that way, the other way? Well, there's a trick, isn't there? We're going to click on the costume that we want. Okay, we want him to turn around and start walking. So we'll choose cost choose the costume that we want it to look like, but we want it to him to turn the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this costume, right click and duplicate. And what happens? We see another one like that, and there it is. There's two costumes that are the same, but this one, see I right clicked on it to duplicate it. Then it looks like this and I'm going to flip it horizontal. And there we have facing him facing the right way. Isn't that awesome? We have him facing the right way. Okay, please stop doing chatting. Right, now the thing is we have to do, we have to do the others as well like that. Because we want him walking in the other direction. So I'm going to duplicate all of them and flip them horizontal. All the ones duplicate, flip horizontal. Um, then this one, I'm going to duplicate it first and then flip horizontal. And this one, I'm going to duplicate and then flip horizontal. Then 12, I'm going to duplicate and then Flip horizontal. Then this one I'm going to duplicate and flip it horizontal. But I must duplicate because I don't want to lose the original one. You know? So if we look at our costumes carefully, very carefully, we'll see that we have A costume A and A2. Then B, oh, I should duplicate him and flip him horizontal too. Okay. Right. A, A, 2, B, B, 2, Bear Walk, A, hmm, so it's Bear, A, A, 2, B, Bear, B, B, 2, and then Bear Walk, A, and Bear Walk, A, 2, Bear Walk, B, and Bear Walk, B, 2, Bear Walk, C, and Bear Walk, C, 2, Bear Walk, D, and Bear Walk, D, 2, Bear Walk, E, Bear Walk, E, 2, Bear Walk, F, and Bear Walk, F, 2, Bear walk G and bear walk G two. Oops, we didn't. Oh, G, we never, we never duplicated and flipped. Okay, duplicate, and then flip horizontal, and then H, duplicate and H two. It's now called H two. Flip horizontal. Right. So we've got bear ready to go. He's going to go walking. So what I'm going to do is flip a uh, switch to costume, um, switch costumes in our code. When Bear has finished saying say for two seconds, we are going to switch to costume. Then we're going to look, go to the looks section, switch costume two. And um, the costume that we want him to switch to 
is A2, bare A2, and that's easy to find. We click over here in the switch to costume, and then, oops, bear A, bear, not bear walk, bear A2, bear A2. Right, so he's going to be, um, uh, think. now we're going to, we want him to basically um, wait, because after he switched the costume, he's going to stand up. Yes, come on, hello. Yes. Does elephant also have other costumes, or is it just this one? No, he does, but he does. We did already. We switched his costume too, and we made oh. him horizontal. We did in the previous lesson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me just read myself then. Yeah, you just revise that. Okay, thanks. Right, so switch to costume bear A2. Then we're going to wait. Uh, where is wait? I always, I always forget where wait is. I'm in control. Oh, there it is. It's in control. Right, so I'm going to wait for a couple of, um, you know, th seconds. Please stop chatting. Right, 0 0.5. Let's say he waits for 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, then wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Then he's going to switch costume to a standing up one. A standing up one, which is B, B2. Okay. And only once he's he starts walking, then we're going to give Elephant permission to go back to his place. Look, now how do you make them look the other way? Yeah, like I, I was showing it now, now. So how, how do I make them look the other way? What I did was this. I'll show you on Elephant's costume. We revise that again. We did do it the other day. Then I'll revise that again for you. Do you see this Elephant here? He's making a noise. If I right click and duplicate, then I've got two of them. Can you see I've got two of them? So I haven't lost the one, but I'm going to make him turn the other way by clicking on this button here called flip horizontal. So I went to costumes, I duplicated the elephant, and then I went to the duplicated one, made sure I had that one still, and then I clicked on flip horizontal, and then he's you can see him facing the other way. You can also delete the costumes over here. You'll get used to it after a while. Okay, so Jane, you have a question, Lavi. I'll let you ask the question. Uh, look, yes. Hello, so Jane, we're listening, sweetheart. Oh, you want to you want to do it in the chat rather? Okay. Right. Okay, so Jake, are you okay, sweetheart? Okay, do you have a question, Sir Jing? That's all right if you don't. Okay, so um, probably a mistake. Put the um, hand up on mistake. All right, so what's going to happen is we are going to get the elephant to start moving. <clears throat> No, 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 not elephant. We want elephant to move. Yeah, we want elephant to move back to his place. We want bear to move towards the owl. But elephant's not going to go move back to his place until bear has moved away. Okay. So, bear's going to start walking. And bear must then send a message after he's walked. We're going to make bear walk to there. All right, he's going to go do, 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 do. And then he's going to turn direction and go up that way. So that's how Bear's going to get to R. In this program, you're not allowed to go that way. You have to follow the blocks. You can't go diagonally and cross over. Quick way, you can't. You have to follow the road blocks like that. Right, so that's how I made the rules of the program. See, remember, you're the programmer, you make the rules. Right, so switch cost, but of course you make the rules based on, on what's required. If someone asks you to write a program, you make sure that you get all the things they need, and then you write the program according to what they need. With the elephant, what happens when you flip it vertically? 
Oh, when you flip it vertically, right, let's check then. We'll flip vertically. Right, let's flip vertically. Click on elephant. Thank you, Sir Jane, for the question, Livy. You and the other person. There we go. Sleep, flip vertically. See, it's upside down. See? Let's flip vertical. Flip horizontal that way. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. bing. Get the idea. That was fun. All right, getting back to Bear. Bear has to walk now. You remember that we wrote, we wrote, not wrote, we wrote. We didn't write, actually. We just put blocks together um, for a code for the elephant to walk and walk and walk. But he had to point in a direction first. Mm. He had a point in direction because that would be the direction that he's going to go. In order to get that direction right, we have to be very careful. We click on elephant and we go to this little thing here that says point in direction. See that thing? If we move it that away, mm, he's now turning upside down. So if he points in uh, minus 90, that's not going to really work. But we're going to check this out. This should be interesting. Let's see what happens if we make him point in direction minus 90. He might have changed his costume, but before he moves, he's got to go to the right direction. So let's go and go to looks. And is that pointing direction? Always forget. Oh, no, it's motion. Motion is pointing in direction. Okay. Point in direction. If we put a minus 90 here, well, you would think that's right, eh? Hey? But we will see what we what will happen. We'll see if that works. Okay, please stop doing spamming in the chat. Right, so you put in direction, then we're going to repeat changing costume, just like we did before. See there? But we did it until any key is pressed. We said repeat until any key is pressed. We can change that to repeat until we reach a certain um, position on this uh, grid, okay? So we'll have next question, move, wait, next question, move, wait, next question, move, wait, next question, move, wait. What we might have to do is because the costumes are numbered like this, one, two, three, so on, we've got bear sitting, bear A, A2, bear B, B2, bear C, and so on, bear walk C, and bear walk so on. Maybe we want the twos to be in their place and the A's to be in their place. So we can maybe do this. We can move our costumes around over here so that the bear will be A, B, you know, without the twos, the number twos on it, we're moving them so that they don't have the number twos on them. So I'm moving these costumes up to, to get different numbering. Bear walk D must go under C. I'm moving all the costumes that are facing to the left. I'm moving them into next to one after each other because we have to, we're going to go to next costume, next costume all the time. And we don't want the um, bear to all of a sudden change our, you know, he mustn't be facing the wrong way. In other words, this one, A2 must go down, maybe up. Uh, or we can actually do it this way. Right. Yeah, let's go to A2. Oh, there he is. A2. Oh, yeah, it's in the right place. A2. What about B, bear B2? Let's go put bear B2 in the right place. It's a bit tricky, eh? Hey? Uh, let me put him over there. Now, bear walk C must go up. But. Yeah. Basically, we just want the bears in the right direction being in the right place. You know, we don't want them 
mixed up with the bears in the wrong direction. So there will if you must go further up and it's quite tricky. Ah, oh, there I've got two mice pointers. Yeah, oh, yeah. If. Yeah. Right, that's quite tricky. It's basically getting all the bears up in the right place and that can be not so easy to do with your screen with a high, um, small resolution. Yeah, basically you want to start off with bear A2 and then go to B2 and then go to bear walk A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2. So Bearwalk G is in the wrong place. Let's move him up. Come on, Bearwalk G, you gotta go way, way up that away. G. No, no, F is gone. Oh, there, F is there. We have them all organized. Just one more, and that's H. H is moving him up. B, C, D, let's just pop him there for now, and then we can reposition him. Okay, so we have to, the, luckily they're given, you know, names, the letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't know where Bear Walk H disappeared too, but we'll find it again. Ah, there it is. Okay, Bear Walk H, let's move him up. Move Bear Walk H up. Up, 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 up. There we go. Now we've got him in his place. So what's going to happen? We'll start with Bear Walk A2. Then he goes to Bear B2. He's going to stand before he starts walking. This is making sure that the coast is clear. You know, bears do. So A2 is going to then go to the next cluster, and there's one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There's eight costumes. I don't know where this person came in. I didn't put in there. There's eight costumes, okay? Eight costumes that he's going to go and do walking. We're in bed. Uh, somebody has removed my... Oh, no, they haven't. Sorry, it's okay. So I'm going to repeat, and there's eight times. We're going to see what happens when he repeats eight times. Um, we go to our repeat loop, which is in control. You see repeat eight times. He's going to go to the next costume, go to looks, uh, switch costume or change costume. Where are we? Switch costume two. Uh, or we can go to next costume, okay? Just go to next costume because the one, what's after bear B2? He's on bear B2. The next costume after bear B2, let's go find it. Yeah, A2, there's B2. The next one is the bear walking one. So we're going to go to the next costume and see how far he goes. Next costume, um, move 10 steps and wait. So the motion, we're going to go move 10 steps. And we're going to, so that we can see this happening, we're going to put in a weight. And we'll make it more 0.5 seconds. Now, remember, he's pointing in direction minus 90. And eight times, he's going to change costumes eight times. And let's see how far he gets with those eight costumes. And they're going to go down, they're going to go down from this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's see how far he walks with those. So it's not just a case of, you know, you've got a new arm basically planning this uh, walking movement with changing the costume and moving and waiting. So repeat eight times, he's going to go to the next costume, move 10 steps, wait 0.5, 
Let's see how he does. He's pointing direction minus 90. Let's hope he doesn't turn upside down. That would be funny, hey? Let's see, hands up. Who thinks he's going to turn upside down when he starts walking to the left? That should be very funny. All right, we're going to click the green flag. Yes, Sir Jing. Uh, Sir Jing, got a lot of questions, sweetheart. Okay, no, you don't. You can type it in the, in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Sir Jing. You tell them. Right, so let's go and click the green flag. We've got to press a thing. And then he's saying, and then the elephant's saying, oh, I better move. So they're greeting, and then I'm fine. And then we type Joseph and uh, Gopu. Okay. Welcome, Joseph. Elephant turns around. Oh, 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 oh. You see, Joe's upside down. Let's keep him moving. Let's not turn him upside down. All right, so we have to change that because that's not going to work, is it? So I'm going to just keep him at 90. Now we're going to see if that makes any difference. Click the green flag, press the space key or any key. Elephant says they greet. And then ask for the name. Call him Joe Black. There we go. Welcome. And then he's, oh, oh, now he's walking backwards. So that doesn't work at all, does it now? Let's go and have a look at our costumes very carefully. Right, we go to our costumes. The ones that we flipped horizontal. The A, the twos, the ones with the two in other words. Okay, we didn't convert to bitmap. So I'm going to make sure that is all going ahead. Oops. Come on. Uh, convert to bitmap. Make sure they're all converted to bitmap. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but we'll see. Come on, clicking convert to bitmap. Now, I did write a program where I, where I managed to make elephant walk in the right way. So let's go and see if we are actually able to do that. Does that make any difference? Mm. Sure. Oh no, he's still walking backwards. Right, there's a trick to this. And I just got to figure it out in my little brain. Um, I'm going to go find it. Don't worry, I'm going to find the trick because I did manage to make it happen before. So let's go and find that solution quickly. Um, and that's going to be our challenge for the next day. Okay, I'm going to load from my computer quickly. Uh, see wasn't lesson one no remember we did lesson one yeah it wasn't that one that's for sure okay i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to figure that out and i'll give you the answer tomorrow so stay tuned for tomorrow when we can learn how to make elephant walk and look normal in the right position and so that he doesn't actually turn upside down when he wants to walk to the left Yes, Neil. I'm going to let Neil talk. Maybe he's got the answer for us. Hey, Neil. Oh, Neil's vanished. Oh, there you are. Okay, come on, hello. Are you going to help us with this problem? Come on, hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, this is Neil. Mm. Uh, who is it? Come on, hello. I'm doing the same thing, ma'am. 
Neil, yes. Are you doing the same thing? I'm yes, doing the same I... thing, yes. yes. On your screen. Yeah. And? But I, but I see, I'm, I'm thinking that I can't get this right. I know. But there Let me see one. next to the picture, ma'am, and the coding, ma'am. Yeah. Um, uh, no, no, not now. You can send it to me on email, lovey. You can't share screens, unfortunately. So, sorry, lovey. But that's cool. It's cool that can you're working with this. Go up. Okay, the I, I was going to try. Coding. Can you go up, please? Okay, you want to see the coding? Okay. Right, so there's the coding. All right, we have two people wanting to ask a question. Afua. Miss Quinn, please, as for the sharing screen, I've never heard of a course until I came here, but the host can enable sharing screen. Oh. That enables a participant to share their screen. Oh, okay. Just like ask to unmute. Oh. Or ask to turn on video. Oh. Or change okay. participant name. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. Someone should be able to share screens. Okay, I'm going to get back to you on that tomorrow. Okay, Suda? Good, good point. Definitely, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Right. Um, and Cabo Hello, have you got the same question, Lavi? Yes, Cabo Hello? No. No, I just wanted to ask, are you going to send today's file? Oh, yes, yeah, I'm going to do it just now. Okay, thank you. Definitely. Every day I will send the file through the okay. chat. Okay. Okay. And the sharing screen, we must sort that out. Okay, we'll sort out the sharing screen. Um, we want Elephant, we want Mr. Bear to walk that away. Okay. Not backwards and not turn upside down when he's walking. Right, so tomorrow we will sort that out. Come hello, you got another question, Lavi? Oh no, I just put down my thing. Oh. I just put down my hand now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Suda. I'm right. trying to um, unmute here. Mm -hmm. oh, um, okay. Doesn't matter. So we have him uh, repeating eight times, move ten steps, this point in direction and switching the costume. Okay. This that is the situation that we have. We, the other the one way to solve it would be to turn the costumes upside down. <laughs> could do that. Yes, Congo, you're going to tell me that was the situation that we could do. Yes, Congo. Ma'am, why don't you see if pointing direction one can work? Yep, we'll try that. Let's try pointing direction one. Okay, point in direction one, or north, you mean, or just one. So just type a, a one there. Okay. Right, let's see if this works. I'd give you a box of Smarties, virtual Smarties. Let's wait for it. Joe Do. Every time I change his surname. Okay, now he's moving that away. So that moves upwards. I've got I've got an idea in my head that I'm gonna use. Um thank you for that, sweetheart. It didn't work. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make him move minus 19. I think I'm gonna change the costumes to flip vertical because when then you move to minus 90, then they will turn around. Yes, Savik. Are you got an answer to the question? Yes, Maybe Avik. You can try minus 60. Minus 60. Yeah, well then you'll just he will he will go to the left, but he will go upside down. But that's a good point, Lovey. We'll try that too. Okay, but before I try that, I'm actually going to now let's see what happens when you go to minus 60. Right, minus 60. So he's going to walk diagonally, I think. Let's go and run the program quickly. 
press any key, then he stops, then he goes that way, that way, that way, that way. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see, where's he gonna go? See, now he's going that way. That's a, that's a 60 degree angle, okay? Thing is that we don't want them to turn upside down. We're gonna keep it at minus 90, but I've got a sort of like a plan here where I'm going to turn him upside down when he starts walking over here in the costumes. So flip vertical, flip vertical. <laughs> yes, Sudan, I know you want to, you got a question, Sajing. I'm dying to see this works. I know there's two minutes to go. We're nearly there. I'm flipping him all vertical over here. His walking cost his walking costume, put it that way. All right, now I'm gonna go to the code and run it. And then I'll answer your questions, Sajang. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. <laughs> He's walking backwards. Maybe I, 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 you know what I did? I, I probably flipped the wrong ones upside down. More than likely. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Right, we'll have to investigate that tomorrow because it's now one minute to go. I must go and save this code. You can play with it and who knows, maybe you can solve the problem too, hey? Quite a tricky problem. All right, we had Sajing had a question. All right, Sajing. Yes, we got. You don't have a question. Are you okay? All right, I'm going to save this program. You can talk whatever you want, lovey. Um, save to your computer. Then I'm going to share it in the chat if you want to play with it. See how far you get with fixing it. Right, so now I'm going to go to the chat and share it quickly before you go. Yes, I'm done now, sweetheart. Right, we go to see when you save it, when you save it to your computer, what happens? It goes to um, downloads. Down, it goes to your downloads folder, and that's where you'll find it. Right, I'm sending it over now. Is it going through the chat window? And it's 11 o'clock and ding, ding, ding. Ooh, we've got to play our, our program, our exit program. Yes, our exit program from James. James and William, the brothers that are coding. There it is. Oh, that's not the exit program. That's the, that's not the exit program. But I like the song anyway. There's another one. Okay, uh, participants raised hands. Come on, hello. You have a question, Lavi? Yes, yes um, yeah. there's something going on with my computer. I always save a Bearwalks lesson, and then when I go to my files and I go to downloads, and when I try to open it, it's not opening. So, what am I doing wrong? You have to open the Scratch program first before you can open it. Do you have you got the Scratch open? Oh, yeah, my dad downloaded it for me. Okay, so you have to have Scratch open first, and then you go File, Load from Computer. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how you open it. Okay, thanks. Yes, pleasure, sweetheart. Uh, Fuwa. Yes, Fuwa. Uh, Miss Quinty, uh, when I try to save it or run from my computer, it doesn't work. When you want to save and it. When I open it, then it will be giving me letters and numbers. Oh, my word, lovey. 
I don't know. Is it a computer or is or have you ever got Scratch open? Or you're on um. Do you mean online Scratch? You can you can um, not Scratch. You can get. Uh, are you on on? Are you on? F, um, are you on Zora? Yeah, I'm on Amazora. Jacqueline says that Scratch must be opened in order to the for the viewers listen to open. You don't have to have Scratch. If you've got MS Zora, then you don't need Scratch. MS Zora oh. is the same as Scratch. Okay. In fact, don't have both. Don't have both open. Let me say Scratch in case you know. from Scratch. Thanks. Come hello, please. Your messages are available. Hmm? My computer is saying new messages are available. <laughs> okay, so basically, okay, Stephanie, you also have a question. Miss, wait, Miss Queen, please. Um, the, I wanted to send my work through to through your email, but I don't know how to. You just attach it. You must ask your parents how to do that, lovey. Please, can you uh, attach it? Well, have you got an email program or you got, have you got Gmail? Web yeah, I got two Gmails. Let me just send them to you. Okay, I'm going to show you. You can use any them. of them. Okay, I'll show you how to yes. use Webmail. Wow. Pardon? I'm going to show you now. Okay. Right, so. You have your webmail program open. I'm just going to open my webmail here quickly. If you have a Gmail account, I've got a Gmail account as well. This is not my email for um, African teens, my uh, school Gmail account for my uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Almost cool. So, what you can do well, is you can send me an email. Oh, she told so me that I have to have scratch or, uh, or I can have Amazon. Click on Compose. Uh, Miss Queen, please. Someone's uh, background was making noise. I think it was Camo. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Scratch or Amazon. So I'm showing you how to like, send me the program. So it doesn't matter which one. Yeah, but I tried to you send it to you, but it's huh? still not working. Oh, I, I 